This is a demonstration of pressure. I have here a balloon that I just recently blew up with my breath. The air inside of the balloon is at a just very slightly higher pressure than the atmospheric pressure outside. We have atmospheric pressure pushing in on all sides of the balloon. And then we have the balloon itself that creates some compression and a little bit of added pressure. But essentially, the pressure inside the balloon will be very, very close to the pressure outside, which is one atmosphere of pressure. I'm also going to take some Barbasol thick and rich shaving cream and put it in this uh, bowl. And I'm going to evacuate this whole thing. I'm going to get a good seal here. Turn on the vacuum pump. So what's happening here? The balloon is expanding. Why? The pressure inside the bell jar is decreasing. We're sucking some of the air out of it. The pressure inside the balloon is still one atmosphere. So it's over, the, the pressure outside the balloon is less than the pressure inside the balloon. And the balloon expands. But the shaving cream is also expanding. And why is that? There are little pockets of air inside the shaving cream. They were created at atmospheric pressure. The pressure outside of the shaving cream is less than atmospheric pressure, and the shaving cream expands in the same way that the balloon does. So that was a little more dramatic, the back side of the story. The uh, I'm not, why, I'm not sure why the balloon is smaller now than it was before. So we'll save that for our classroom discussion, and maybe you guys can figure it out. Shaving cream is also in a sad state of affairs. I wouldn't want to use it to shave.